गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई वुड लाइक टू टीच यू अबाउट द एक्सपोनेंट एंड रेडिकल दिस इज द फर्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ योर क्लास नाइन एंड हेम्स यू हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड फ्यू थिंग्स इन क्लास एट बट आई वुड लाइक टू टीच यू इन डिटेल्स सो सपोज यू हैव थर्टी टू कैन इट बी रिटर्न एज टू टू द पावर फाइव Suppose you have eighty one. If you want to write in exponential form, what can you write? It can be written as three to the power four. So here we have five, four. These both are called as exponent, and it is also called index. it is also known as power and then this 2 this 3 is called base this is called base so let us start the topic exponent and radicals now i will discuss about the exponent only so what is called exponent that nth power of nth power of any base that is a to the power n this is called as n power of a and this n can be any number any integer it may be negative it may be positive it may be fraction even and a is any real numbers so this is what we call as an exponential form this is these are the numbers we call it as exponential form and therefore here we will discuss about the properties the laws of exponent laws of exponent now in this case what will happen we have many rules like first a to the power n into a to the power n this a bases are same and this is a symbol of product so what will be the answer m plus n when the bases are same is going to be multiplied the powers are added so this is called a to the power m plus n i would like to put a symbol here this can be written in this form as well as this result can also be written in this form according to the need we will change it sometimes you need this this is given and you need to take something common so you have to take this in this particular form second a to the power m divided by a to the power n is equal to a to the power m minus n third a to the power m to the power n is equal to a to the power m into n and then Fourth one. If a to the power minus n, it can be written as a to the power n. Means if you want to write in positive, you can write in this particular form. 
Similarly, if you have a b to the power n, the product, the two numbers both will be carried by the exponent. This will be a to the power n into b to the power n. Similarly, if you have a by b to the power n, then it will be written as a to the power n by b to the power n. And one very important that is any number has power 0 is always equal to 1. So these are the laws of exponent. Now along with this we have some of the rules of exponential equations. It is very important to note that in exponential equation, if suppose both sides you have the basis same, their powers will be equal. Like if suppose you have a to the power n is equal to a to the power 5. What do you notice? Here basis are same. So n will be equal to 5. Similarly, if you have a to the power x rather 5 to the power x is equal to 5 to the power 3 then what do you notice here bases are same then powers will be equal and vice versa if powers are equal bases will be also same like a to the power 5 2 to the power 5 what do you notice this powers are same so a will be equal to 2 so the first rule says that in an exponential equation if bases are same then powers become equal and similarly in an exponential equation when powers are same then bases are equal okay so in my next video i will continue with the problem based on this concept